Oh, hi guys. So, so guys, it was perfect. It was hitting me so much. And oh. you look busy today. What are you up to? Making you a pair of work boots. <laughs> yes, did I explain? Yeah, you've been lamenting because you haven't walked in over a year. Uh, our apartment in Tempe had uh, was fully carpeted Mommy. and you were able to walk. That we haven't had any really carpeting homes. Uh, Botswana was uh, totally, uh, I don't know, it was a uh, No carpet floor. at all, yeah. And then this is a wood floor. And uh, you were saying that you'd really like to start walking again. Instead of finding a new place, we thought, well, we'll make you some work boots. So here's your, uh, here's your stockings. And we'll just try to put some padding inside and see how it goes. Yeah, so what, okay, before you continue, I think you forgot something. Those um, knee stuff for yourself. Yeah. I think I'm gonna put them first. Yeah, knee braces. Yeah. Knee bra yeah. is it braces. Is it braces? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then have okay. So what I need? What is what is the most thing that I need? Well, you need some padding. Yeah, cushion. Is yeah. padding cushion? Yeah. Yeah. So I need cushion for my legs. I mean, you guys will see. Hopefully, it will come well. So how? Okay, before you cut, what I'm mean, I'm trying to envision what you're trying to do. What are you trying to do right now? Just gonna try and put some padding. Mm -hmm. on on the bottom and on the side so you can fit your leg in oh that's exciting you know they can two you put think no i know i thought maybe i'm gonna cut a circle for my for my knee okay. and then sew it into the thing there okay. but i was thinking how am i gonna wash it and how am i gonna sew it i'm not a very good sewer okay. and now that, that, that you're coming up with it i'm trying to see how i'm trying to envision how you're gonna do it so let's try to put this together i'm going to be sharing with you guys what i'm doing and let them know how it was almost impossible to find it online anything um so guys i was telling my husband about how prosthetic places really have a hard time really making it for the right person like even in africa in Botswana, especially um even everywhere i saw this other youtuber usually what works for them is what someone in their home makes for them yeah. but the doctors or the orthopedics people they don't really know what exactly we need like yeah. it's so funny how the professionals don't know but us we do speak of knowing your body more well, than anything it's, it's not a very high volume uh, product that's needed out there first of all there aren't too many people with amputated legs and then and uh, not only that there are not many people that can walk like i can yeah, because so, yeah so i mean even, even if someone comes out with a product it's gonna be like well how many are they gonna sell yeah you know or how That's are the right. people gonna know about it you know, mm -hmm. things like that so there's probably stuff out there but we just haven't found Definitely, it yeah or... if you know anyone that, if you've lost your leg and you know anyone that can design something like this for me i'm willing to even pay the price for that because but i think my husband is gonna do a better job than i mean we'll tweak it yeah i mean i i don't like this padding i think there's better padding out there i, I want to go to the store and get some thicker padding oh okay but, so i mean the padding we had in mesa was like that thick you mean the the, the carpet no the um the the the, the workout thing, thing yeah, yeah so. let's try the no we can two put let's try to put two yeah. so we'll see what is it baby the truck is what yeah. i think that truck is not working baby he keeps on losing his wheel but do you want to play with it regardless? It's enough space for you there, please. You're going to get hurt. This, yeah, go around. You're stuck because you, there's no space for you. Beautiful. It's too disgusting. What now? What is too disgusting? He found something else. <laughs> well, be careful. Be careful, love. Mommy's walking finally. I'm gonna walk. I know, we can walk now. Now nah, you're in focus. Hi right, guys, so, so guys, you can what? I can walk. Okay, you want to play? Now my kids want me to play like crazy. Yeah. We 
did it. So look, mommy can walk without her leg. It doesn't hurt because the problem is that it was very hard on the surface and it was hitting me so much. And I was thinking like I miss walking. Of course, this is what allows me to work. No, I don't have to kneel. I can clean the house. I can work. Your hips should be feeling better now. Hopefully. Yeah. But but the walking though is feeling so weird right now. Because I haven't walked in like over a year. And it's it's kind of feeling like I'm starting to wake it up. I think I should not no. overdo it. Right. But look. I just walk like this. Hey. No pain. This is, uh, jo Joshua's first response, no wheelchair. No more wheelchair, mommy. So I can walk. There's no pain. Two cushions is the best. I think one would have still been painful. But my husband put two of the workout mat. I feel like I'm going to wear it out fast. And I'm going to have to keep on changing it. Oh, are you happy? Wow. What is it? Wow, what is it? It's motorcycle. Oh, it's motorcycle. Oh, I thought it said, wow, mommy can walk. It's like, hey, wow. It's the pretty fancy lunch today uh, as a family I went ahead and prepped some mashed potatoes this morning it was uh, very easy with the mixer that my mom has <clears throat> I also prepped some uh, beetroot so I'll finish the preparation process on that we get some butternut squash <clears throat> family favorite and I've got some baked chicken in the oven just started baking and I'll go ahead and make some rice for the family as well so it, it wouldn't be a complete vlog without me showing you guys what we're cooking uh we're making some goodies butternut squash <laughs> if you guys have been watching us for long you know that we love butternut squash in this house a lot of my followers even commented saying no why do you eat butternut squash a lot i'm like yep it's it's it's, it's one of the things that we eat a lot in this house everyone loves it the kids everybody chicken has been baking for 35 minutes i'm just going to pull it off for the last 10 minutes pull the foil off to let it brown been baking at 400 degrees all right here's the finished product and let's see how everybody likes it this is lunch mashed potato with some a little bit of the gravy from the chicken rice butternut squash and we are all eating the same meal someone is eating before he prays hey pray fast <laughs> pray Amen. Amen. Well, we're at the park again today. Instead of Frisbees, we got the, uh, the rocket launcher. This is a real creative toy. It's called a Stomp Rockets. <clears throat> Check their website. They have a lot of other cool products like Stomp Cars and Stomp Super Rockets and things like that. But the boys have been enjoying this toy for about a year now. Caleb's turn. No, that's Joshua's turn. Go. No, that's Joshua's turn. Oh, it's Caleb's turn. Let's go. Hey, watch out, Joshy. Watch out, Joshy. Nice. Don't let it ruin your day. Wow. Stop. Stop. Almost. Stop. Right here. Stop. Stop. Okay. Daddy's going to help you, okay? Watch. One, two, three. No. I want to go. Get your racket. There's your racket. Uh, want help? Help. Help. Okay. Help, Daddy. I want to stop. Ready? I want to stop. Ready? Set. You ready? Hey. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready? Yes. One, two, three. Whoa! Where'd 
where'd it go? Oh. Way over there. You think that's cool? Yes. Nice. Can I help? No, okay. you pushed your glass. Yeah. Okay. Go, Michael. Oh. No. Oh. Gotta try it again. Guys, stop! Stop good. Let's go. Nice. Look at Josh. Try it again, Caleb. Whoa! You did it with your hand. Whoa! Daddy's turn to stop. Ready? You pull my hair. Two legs, Daddy. Whoa, you did it! He did a double step. Michael did That's it. That's his first one. That's the first one. Nice. We're enjoying our last few days before school starts. Tomorrow we're uh, scheduled to pick up our Chromebooks. And then the day after we're having a meeting, a face-to-face -face meeting with the teacher to talk about the curriculum and uh, procedures and so forth. So I'm really looking forward to it. I think the kids are... They have no idea what's what's ahead of them, but I'm sure they're going to enjoy it a lot. They like Michael, to learn, Michael, yeah, but meanwhile, me. they're going to keep stomping on these rockets. And then we'll go to the grocery store to fix one of their favorite lunches. Of course, you can't go to the park without going to the slides. You guys like the slides? Yeah. Right. Daddy, come on, go to the slides. Yeah, go on the slides. Yeah, come on. Right, go, 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 go. No, I too, summer. I can no cry now. You having fun? Nice. Whoa. But my shot to nature. So let me get ready for to get ready for this. So you guys from morning during the week they're usually for the kids whether it's their teaching stuff um they were supposed to start school this week but since they're doing the um the homeschooling school through the district um the district had decided to push it a week uh, another week for kindergartners that way in case some parents feel like they, they don't want to go to in-person school they will not be left behind so they have decided to push the school the day the, the first day of school a week later to allow those parents that want to change their minds about in school so that they don't they're not left behind so i think that was a good idea and while the kids are really having a good time with my husband and all that stuff it's time for me to read the bible let me say this for me reading the bible has been something that i do every day um at five o'clock in the morning um it's, it's been my routine my husband at first we asked reading the bible with my husband every day but now we have decided that since sometimes we have different schedules to read it together not like together in person like to read it um the same stuff for example right now we are on second kings together so we are in second kings and then we'll discuss about it about what is happening in the bible just like um everything what we've learned but we read it separately because we have different schedules for example my husband will wake up in the morning um he work he work out until late, and then he wake up a little later than I do, or sometimes earlier than I do. But me, I have the set schedule. And then during the day, sometimes I'm here studying it, or I'm reading the proverb proverb of the day. If you guys don't know, to to pump me up, to get me ready for the day, I love to read the proverb of the day. For example, if today is the if today, for example, is the 30th, I'll be reading Proverbs. I'll read my Bible reading for an hour, and then I'll read a proverb of the day on the 30th, the th Proverbs 30, and then get some wisdom. I feel like I've been getting a lot of wisdom doing that. 